trips that you plan for the next whole week Pants too long for a n- so cheap And your flex so deep, your sex so deep You got it, girl, you got it Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel I'm Chala Nicole and here we are back with another Pup box video I don't have Theo here today or Teddy They're outside right now, living their best lives Um, <laughs> Not worried about me So let's get straight into it First I'm just gonna, you know, open it up uh, let's see. I like to do the complete opening with you guys so you guys can see that I have not went through it. Um, I'm going to be just as surprised as everybody else on what's inside the box. So it just says pop box like this and open it. And I have my name for that in, which I kind of think, you know, because when you sign up for the subscription, you tell them your dog's name, their age, their birthday their gender so i kind of feel like um i should fill this in for you um you know hi theo you know you're this many months old here's your box i feel like that's what they should do there's teddy he said oh she up <laughs> okay here's the card it says back to the basics training is forever here at put box we like to focus on the importance of a healthy training routine we talk about it a lot and believe that consistency is one of the most crucial components to a well-behaved pupster. So this month, we are playing the role of a little thorn in your side. No matter your pup's age, eight months or eight years, we are here to tell you to keep up all the great training work. And we have compiled a few trips to keep you in the game. <sighs> My dog's definitely, <laughs> no. Um, it says, let's brush up on the basics. Um, reinforce good behavior. As the month and years trick, uh, <laughs> As the months and years tick by, it's easy to get lax on the training front. One of the easiest ways to make sure your pup is constantly working on the foundation you set up as a puppy is to reinforce the behavior you want to see, no matter how elementary it may seem. If you're at the park and you ask your pup to come and he continues running to your side, give him a big hug and let him know he did a great job. If your pup is excited to see you when you come home and offers to sit upon your arrival, pull that bag of treats out and reward handsomely for that sit. Try not to let the small wins go unnoticed. They are the foundation of your training. Um, keep it short, stay consistent. It says it is hard for us to sit still for more than five minutes. So let's not try to force our pups to pay attention to the task at hand for hours on end. Um, keep your training short. Try to set aside small chunks of time a few times a week. The consistent short training sessions will really help your pup catch up to new training games and commands. Keep up the good work. Rotate rewards. Try to offer up different rewards to keep your pup on his paws. Meaty treats are always good to go, but work in some variety to keep your pup guessing. <laughs> Have your pup start on command on a command and then offer up a new toy or a meaty bone. Or if your pup loves the park, have him perform a couple of tricks before he gets some coveted off leash time. Rotating rewards keeps the training fresh and engaging. Everyday opportunities. Lastly, remember that every situation offers a chance for some extra practice. If you are walking on the street and stop at a crosswalk, make sure to put your pup in a sit before proceeding. If a kid runs up and wants to give your pup a hello, have them ask for a shake or high five before your pup gets the love. <laughs> These little moments really help in the long run. So I think those are some good key tips for training your dog. I'm terrible at training, like don't ask me. <laughs> Not happening over here. They get treats just because. Okay. <clears throat> So first things first is called uh, the Pet Gourmet Real Lamb Liver Protein Meat Topper. It comes in this little, this white plain bag. Um, it says, what does it say? Use our lamb liver as a topper for your dog's food or serve as a treat reward or reward. Lamb liver is a great source of protein and your dog will love the crunchy texture. As with any treat, always serve with fresh water. Um, <laughs> ingredients is just lamb liver. Um, I've never heard of this before. And this is by the Pet Gourmet. Okay, that's cool. It just feels like little chunks. So that's that. Up there. Um, and then they have this. It's a pork and apple. <laughs> Pork and apple with turmeric. Wow, cool. So this is what this looks like. I like these boxes because you get all types of things you just never knew. Um, this is by Price Pet. It says grain-free, all natural. Uh, the ingredients here are pork, chickpea, flour, 
pea flour, coconut, glycerin, apples, brewer's yeast, salt, turmeric, lactic acid, and citric acid. Okay. 81 kcal per treat. So this, this is a bowl. Binda bowl. So it's not super hard. Um, <laughs> oh, cool. Look at this cool little toy. Oh, it's a treat pouch. Okay. So it's a pouch to store a treat in. It has a little pocket. And this is what it looks like. It says sardines <laughs> on it. Um, then the back is just gray. Oh, it's like a tuna can. Cause you see the little, wait, <laughs> you see the little handle there? So it says sardines cause it's like a tuna can. You go whoop. <laughs> okay, cool. So let me cut this stuff off of it. Sorry, my background is getting loud, guys. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off. Cut off the stuff, you know. The usuals. I have a treat bowl, a, a treat jar. So I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna utilize this as a treat pouch because my dogs, you know, will go treat crazy. And usually Theo steals Teddy's treats. So I'm not doing that. Like I'm just gonna distribute them how I've been distributing them. And then I'll just let them put this as a toy. It's not squeaky. Um, it's not squeaky, it's just crunchy sounding. So whatever, put that there, okay? And then Chase and Chomp. Popsicle suction cup. Uh, so that's what this is. I don't know. Chase and Chump suction cup toys are a great way to stimulate your dog both mentally and physically. Chase and Chump two toys help to prevent boredom, reduce stress, and satisfy your dog's chewing urges. So it says you insert a small piece of food or treats through the holes in the popsicle. So I guess in here you put them through there. Firmly apply the suction cup to any clean flat surface and let your dog try to remove the pieces. Um, okay, that sounds like a task. <laughs> it sounds hard. <laughs> Complicated. We ain't doing all of that. I'll give it to him as a toy. Again, I'm gonna just distribute the treats how I usually distribute them because uh, Theo likes to steal treats. So yeah, I'm not doing any of that, but this is it. And I'm not sure where you will put this at anyways. I was trying to see. Well, of course, it ain't gonna stick to me, huh? Let me not do that. Okay. Um, and the last thing I'll use is a little bear. Squeaks. It's a penguin. Uh, let me pull out the thing so I can tell you guys where this came from. Let me cut it. Cut the tags. Okay. Um, let me see. It says that this came, let's see. Go Dog Penguin Plus Toy. So it came from Go Dog. Um, pet Gourmet Liver Treats. Yeah, so yeah, this is uh, everything that comes with it here. This is just a little list. I usually don't put it like this, but you know, I don't know, I guess. This is the list. I don't keep the list. I toss, I toss that, and I usually toss these insert cards too. Um, if I want to reference them, I can just look back at my videos. So, yeah, guys, that's uh, the pup box. Um, more dedicated to treats, I guess you should say, for training purposes. Um, <laughs> my dogs have so many treats from these boxes, guys. I love these boxes. They come with so many cool, neat toys. Um, they love these. They love these squeaky toys so much. Um, I guess I'm not going to utilize this. I'm just going to give it to them as a toy. I do, I am interested in trying these out though for them. Uh, Teddy likes treats that are more like this and then Theo likes treats that are more like small and chewable. I guess Teddy just likes the challenge. I don't know, I'm sitting there too and stuff. So yeah, those are the treats that came um, in the pup box and then these are the toys. I feel like this pup box was a little bit lighter, not as full as the other ones have been. Um, I don't know, it just seems, I don't know, maybe because this toy is small and the last few boxes, the toys were a little bit bigger. I don't know, but I'll just hold everything up for you guys. So you guys can see. Hold on, if I can get a grip on it. <laughs> and then this, yeah, this box seems very light. It's very small, like just this. I don't know, maybe because the stuff is not as, as big. I don't know, but this is what came in the box, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying my pup box videos. Like I said, I'm trying to stay consistent with them for you guys. Um, and in the next video, you know, maybe we'll have Teddy and Theo here. But right now, they're just there outside. So they're, 
the going with the wins uh thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel let me know if you guys are doing these boxes or any other type of box and let me know how it's going for you or give me recommendations on other type of boxes that are out there and see you guys in the next video bye Body, girl, you got, yeah. pretty little thing you gotta pay it now you wildin'. you just took it off the line on my list waiting you to damn looking fine talking while you come around and i'm silent through the cooper 17 no guys you can stay in love with you know